Hi, my name is Liz Roach and I'm the Artistic Director and Choreographer of Liz Roach Company. This evening we are presenting the Here Trio with Project Arts Centre, Dance Limerick and Tipperary Dance Platform. The piece is a co-production with Maiden Voyage Dance in Northern Ireland and premiered in February of 2020. The piece is about what it means to be here. This idea of boundaries and borders that were really inspired by Brexit uh, in the early part of uh, last year and what that would mean. I looked at a lot of ideas around the senses and creating realities and differentiations and comparisons and how we live in a lot of comparisons in our life and judge our own lives very much in relation to others and to experience. The piece has developed over the course of the year um, and we have created this new film which uh, amalgamates some of the footage of that early production in Belfast but now creates an entirely new experience um, which I suppose reflects somehow now about this Covid life that we're living and what that means to be connected and what it means to be here and really here with a person. Just to say that uh, there's a fantastic cast of dancers and team. Liz Roach Company is supported by the Arts Council and that we really appreciate their support um, and hope that you enjoy this evening. Thank you. Senses, they differentiate for us, they compare, they separate us from other. To me, they bring us in contact with or in relationship with everything outside of us. Through the senses, we perceive each thing as individualized and separated, yes, but through them we can relate to these things. I see the senses as a vehicle to connect to what is not us. I'm thinking about how physical scars are indelible and act as triggers of memory and how that can be in contrast to a sight like where we are here that can be destroyed and revealed over and over slowly erasing the memory with each new actualization She is thinking of a scar on the lower right hand side of her abdomen and a small scar on her thigh where a knitting needle pierced the skin and continued on into the muscle out as quick as it went in 
one day walking home from school. It is a journey that ends in a particular place. The place might not always be the same, but still familiar, necessary. Have to go through it to be somewhere else. I know I'm here by my ability to interact and connect with things around me. also a structure that takes up space and where I place myself can have an impact on those around me and that reaction being good or bad confirms that I am here. I'm thinking about all of the traffic of life that passes through a particular point in space over the years. Uh, here. I'm thinking about how physical scars are indelible and act as triggers of memory and how that can be in contrast to a sight like where we are here that can be destroyed and rebuilt over and over slowly erasing the memory with each new actualization here as an arrival.
I see being here as an arrival, the decision of a destination. It is a journey that ends in a particular place. The place might not always be the same, but still familiar, necessary. Have to go through it to be somewhere else. Here by my ability to interact and connect with things around me. I am also a structure that takes up space and where I place myself can have an impact on those around me. And that reaction, being good or bad, confirms that I am here.
here is strongly linked to now and to the space. However, I can decide to not fully be here. My body can be here in relation to the space, but my mind can travel to another space and time.
I am thinking about all of the traffic of life that passes through a particular point in space over the years. A here. I'm thinking about how physical scars are indelible and act as triggers of memory and how that can be in contrast to a side, like where we are here, that can be destroyed and rebuilt over and over, slowly erasing the memory with each new actualization. He is remembering a disconnect in his arm as it broke after falling out of a tree. She is thinking of a scar on the lower right hand side of her abdomen and a small scar on her thigh where a knitting needle pierced the skin and continued on into the muscle out as quick as it went in one day walking home from school. As a child, he banged his head on the side of a cupboard and the knock made a hole in his head. The fluid on top of the skull and under the scalp leaked into his head and it was swollen for weeks. He could feel the weight of it jiggling when he walked and when leaning forward it felt like his whole forehead was dangling. They were going to slice across his forehead to release the swelling but it just went away in time. Lucky.